two minutes, I'm gonna show you how to play PC VR games on your Quest headset using Airlink. Before we start, what exactly is Airlink? Airlink allows you to connect your Quest headset to your computer via Wi-Fi in order for you to play PC VR games because the graphics will look 10 times better than any game Quest has. Literally from this to this. So without further ado, start the clock. What do you need? First, you need your Quest headset, either Quest 1 or Quest 2. Second, a VR ready PC or laptop. Here are the specs recommended by Meta and Steam. Third, a Wi-Fi router. We recommend Wi-Fi 6, but any shall do. To decrease lag and improve your experience, connect your Wi-Fi router to your PC with an ethernet cable. And lastly, we need the Meta, Steam, and Steam VR software downloaded on your PC. With, of course, your accounts created and games bought. Software links are in the descriptions, and so are my recommendations to everything you need for Airlink. So, after you download everything, open your Meta app on the PC. With that done, put your Quest headset on. Click on Quick Settings, and make sure your PC and Quest are on the same network. Go to Settings on the top right. Go to Systems, Quest Link, and enable it. Launch Quest Link and enable Use Air Link. Find and click your PC and pair it. Confirm the code sent to your PC and then launch it once again. Now you should be able to play meta games. But what about Steam games? First, you need to enable unknown sources found here. At the bottom, head to your desktop. Lastly, open the Steam VR app you downloaded earlier. And now you can play your Steam VR games. Stop the clock! <sighs> Alright, the tutorial is over, but don't leave yet. Make sure to watch to the very end because right now I'm about to show you some handy tips you need to know. Tip number one be close to your router. With this being a Wi Fi dependent solution to playing VR games, it is best if you stay relatively close to your router and PC, reducing uncomfortable in-game stuttering and lag. If that's not possible, you should look into tip number two. Tip number two, pick up a mesh Wi-Fi. Mesh Wi-Fi or mesh network is basically a way to extend your Wi-Fi signal across a larger area. So if tip number one is a no-go, then the recommendation down in the description could be a good workaround. Tip number three, changing the Airlink bitrate. This allows you to alter your Airlink graphics at the cost of lag. Found in the Airlink settings, the lower you go means the less visuals and the less lag. So find what works best for you. Tip number four, make sure your PC is optimized. Obviously, the PC components play a huge part but optimizing settings and making sure everything is updated can be just as important. Tip number five, performance over quality. In my case, I have a pretty okay PC. So that basically means some of the games can run pretty choppy for me. But I despise lag and stuttering in games. And I bet so do you. In my experience, try and prioritize performance over quality. Because at the end of the day, it's still PC VR and the game is still gonna look amazing. Tip number six, check out Virtual Desktop. I've been using Virtual Desktop ever since launch and it's still going strong today. I love the environments they have and the setting optimization is pristine. Better than Air Lynx for sure. If you're interested, I got a tutorial about it right up here. Now, as my gratitude for you sticking to the very end, I'm about to show you new VR games that came out in this video right over here. It's right there. Make sure you click on it. Click, just click.